The Linus Allmark trade from the Boston Bruins to the Ottawa Senators was quite the weird one. In my opinion, doesn't really add up. You have a Vesna caliber goalie, one of the best in the entire league, and you trade him for Corposalo and Kostelik. Corposalo is not a bad goalie, but a one-to-one -one with Allmark wouldn't make sense. Luckily, they throw in Kostelik, but Kostelik is not really that much of a sweetener. He's played 144 games in three seasons, and in that time, he has a negative 12 plus minus. He has 25 points. He's just not that good, and maybe he hasn't grown into it yet because, you know, it's only his third season, but still, I mean, this guy is not really what you want in addition to Jonas Carposalo for Linus Allmark. Now, I don't necessarily think the trade is awful, but I just think with the kind of goalie that Allmark is, you could have gotten so much more from a team like the Devils or the Flames. I don't know. I really just think that this was kind of nonsensical. I know that the Bruins core is really old, and they're trying to kind of make a swap so they don't slide into oblivion, but to me, it doesn't seem worth it to trade Allmark for a first round pick that's not really even that high in the first round, a goalie that is worse than the one you're trading away, and a guy that most likely is going to be a bottom six forward, maybe? I don't know. It just doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I think they could have gotten a lot more. In addition to Kostelik and Corposalo, they did get the 25th pick in the first round of the 2024 draft, which I guess is fine. Uh, the draft class this year is apparently pretty good. Number one, obviously, being Celebrini. Not as good as Bedard, but still very, very good. However, the Bruins are nowhere close to getting him, so I don't really see how this pays off that much for them. However, there have been plenty of first, second, third round picks even that go on to be incredible players, so it could be a huge win for the Bruins. I just really thought that they were going to keep that incredible goalie tandem that got them the best record ever in the NHL. It just seems like with a core that's kind of losing steam, you would want a really strong goalie tandem if you're going to just go for one more run at the cup. But I guess to me, it seems like they're giving up on this core and this team. Maybe I'm completely wrong. I don't really know. I've never been that familiar with the Bruins because I'm not a Bruins fan, but it is interesting to me that they wouldn't extend him or trade him for more picks or better players. It's just odd. That being said, the goalie tandem is still pretty solid with Corposalo. Although his 2023-24 season did kind of have a slip to under 900, he's still a pretty good goalie. Career average is over 900, so it's going to be interesting for the Bruins next season. And I'm really hoping the first round pick pays off because I don't hate the Bruins and they're a pretty interesting team to watch. I would love them to beat the Toronto Maple Leafs again next year in the playoffs. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Hope you enjoyed the video, and remember to like and subscribe. Peace.